All right, let's talk a little bit on the software image that runs on the Cisco routers. In the past, we have iOS XE image that runs the traditional WAN routers on the router. And we have a different train which is called iOS XE SD WAN image. That image is running for the Cisco SD WAN routers. Recently, in 17.2 image, we combine these two images together. We call it the unified image. That unified image, you can select whether you want to run autonomous mode, which is the traditional WAN routers. And if you want to run uh, Cisco SD WAN routers, you can do that as well with this image. But by default, it is running on the autonomous mode. When you want to change from the, the autonomous mode to the Cisco SD WAN mode, you need to type in controller dash mode enable. And then the software will reboot the router itself. And it's the next time that it boots up, it goes to the controller mode. A lot of people ask whether this image can do the Cisco SD WAN zero touch provisioning or not, because normally it goes to the aut autonomous mode by default. The answer is yes. And in this video, we're going to show you the process to do that. All right, we are at vManage, and I want to onboard a new router to the system. So I have already created the template and everything already. Then I'm going to attach that particular serial number to that template. So I can do the zero touch provisioning. First, I go to the template. I search for the template that I want to do attach the device. Then this is a new device that is going to come on the system. I just attach it. Then I put in information, uh, but I already have the information created on the CSV file already. Then I just upload it there. So configuration is completed. Then I just go ahead and click next and configure device. Then the vManage will push these configurations down to the device whenever the device come online to the vManage. This is done schedule, so it is just waiting for the device to be online. I go to the device and I issue the reboot uh, reload command. No safe configuration. So this is the fresh uh, router that I have without configuration at all. So then I wanna go and reboot it again, just like we open the box and try to do a CTP on that. Okay. Uh, let's wait a little while. So as you can see here, the router operating mode, it is autonomous mode. This is the default mode that it comes with the software. And we enter the configuration assistance here. We don't need to do anything. We just leave it like that. And now the device gets the IP address already. 192.168.201.230. It gets also the DNS uh, IP address as well. And now whenever it gets the IP address, the router sends information to the device helper.cisco.com just to check whether this specific serial number it is SD WAN routers or it is a traditional routers. And in this case, it is obviously the SD WAN routers because we have the serial number in the vManage system. So the device helper.cisco.com will tell it is a SD WAN routers. The router will change the mode automatically from the autonomous mode to the Cisco SD WAN mode. And you can see here that it has a message saying that the mode has to be changed and it is changing successfully. And now the device will reboot again. And this time it's going to be in the controller mode.
All right, now the router operating mode, it is changed to controller managed already. Let's wait for a little bit of while, then it will go to the CTP process. Now the line protocol is up, the gigabit zero slash zero slash zero is up, and it gets the IP address from the DSCP servers. Also the DNS configuration as well. It goes to the device helper .com again just to do the CDP process on the Cisco SD WAN site. Then it will go to Vbon, Vmanage, and Vsmart to get configuration and all of the policies from the controllers. Uh, going back to the vManage, let's wait a while until we get uh, that particular router onboarded. So right now it is 6. I, uh, we expect that the edge router will increase to 7 here. Now from the lock, you can see that we managed to already authenticate this device and this device is going through the handshake from the vSmart and it is connected to one vSmart already and now it is trying to push the configuration from the vManage down to the device then let's go back to the device it itself to see whether the number is increased and yes it is increased from 6 to 7 already right then if you click on this you can see routers here then we will wait for a little while it, when it change the configuration from the router to the name that we put on the device now the host name has been changed from the configuration template that we put in Let's go back to the vManage. We go to the configuration and device. You can see that the 1111X model that we are doing the onboarding, it is changed the name to the XE iMAN already. Then we can see the running configuration. vManage pushes information to that particular device already. So then we have a system IP, we have a site ID and we have all configurations here included right so that is done so then uh, we can check on the BFD sessions which is the tunnel on the device we see that the tunnel goes up already right that is the process of the zero touch provisioning on the iOS XE SD WAN with the unified image. Thank you for watching.